Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ender, and today I'm going to show you how you can get your um, MMS working on your AT&T iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS. Um, now before I get to that, um, I'm not going to actually show you how to do that, like the whole instructions and stuff. That's going to be my buddy Alex Osh1234. Um, I've partnered with him in the past, and um, I write for his uh, blog, iPhoneExpert.com. There'll be a link right down there. Um, and you'll, there'll be also a link for you to click on, in the description. And I'll also have the video link to his video on how to get MMS working on any iPhone 3.0 or above firmware. It can be 3.0, 3.01, or even if you have the new 3.1. Um, you don't need a, a jailbroken iPhone to do this. It all runs under iTunes and your iPhone and your Mac. And he has a complete guide on how to do it and on his website, iPhoneExpert.com slash MMS. It'll take you directly to one of the, to his guide, his written guide, that shows you the file you need to download, the modification you need to do in iTunes, and then uploading that file to your iPhone via iTunes, and then rebooting your iPhone, and then um, doing a, um, fixing up a, a quite a few settings in the settings.app, and then sending and receiving a test MMS and see if it works for you. Now, the way this works is that AT&T... There's been reports that AT&T has been flipping the switch on MMS for some iPhone accounts already. There's, it's, the full official release is on Friday, September 25th, which is, I think, next week or two weeks from now. So um, um, that's a long time. And what AT&T has been doing, they're flipping the switch on iPhone accounts or, um, around the nation. You know, there are a good 20 million iPhone AT&T accounts, and AT&T has to manually... Um, put the MMS opt-in feature to the text messaging plan. It's a lot of geek talk, and I'm going to go ahead and skip that out and just show you how MMS works. So, after following his guide, I'm going to show you that I'm going to send an MMS to my email address that's put up there. And I'm just going to put, hey, this is a test MMS. And then I'm going to tap the photo icon, which some of you haven't seen before on your iPhone, but you will see after applying the IPCC and then restarting the iPhone, which of course all of that you'll find in the video. I'll have the link in the description. So if you want to stop this video now and go check out that video and do the instructions, follow the instructions, you know that's fine with me. Because all I'm going to do in this video now is just show you that this actually works on my AT&T phone. I did not call AT&T or anything. This all worked directly. So I'm going to tap that smiley face up there, the iPhone smiley face, and then I'm going to put. MMS works, and then root. There we go. So I'm gonna open up my uh, mail program right now, and um, I'm gonna tap send. There goes the message. As you can see, it's not gonna fail the submission. It's actually gonna send the message all the way. There we go. It sent the message. I'm gonna tap the home button. Go to my mail. Which is just taking some time here. And um, there we go. It's uploading the email. It's going to check for mail. And we'll see that new email right now. There we go. There it is right there. That's the message that I sent a few minutes ago when I was doing a lot of, uh, a lot of video takes. And there's a new um, MMS that we sent right there. MMS works. Woot. We'll tap that message right there. And there we go. Hey, this is a test MMS. There's a the smiley face. So, um... This will be a video response to that other video I made where I didn't talk or anything. It was just me showing you that I got MMS working. Um, that was way back in the summer, and that's because I recently got my iPhone switched out to 3GS, and then we added two new lines, an iPhone line and then a regular phone line, too. We turned a single, a single line AT&T account to an AT&T family talk account. So while AT&T was doing the whole switch, I did a switch to the family messaging plan and it gave me MMS access. However, it wasn't permanent. After a few hours, it just stopped working again. It stopped working and, you know, I was a bit pissed off. But um, now MMS is working for a lot of iPhones now. And like this, you can check if AT&T already flipped the switch on in your account or not. And if it hasn't, you know, just give it a few days. AT&T is doing this repeatedly until they can turn on the last iPhone account on September 25th when it's the official day. But, you know, two weeks prior, you might just have a lucky chance. And with this method, AT&T isn't going to permanently block MMS from you. 
you know, their official date is September 25th, but they cannot turn it off for you now because, you know, they're saying, you know what, if it's on, leave it on because it's going to be on anyways in two weeks. If you can read that, you'll get my point. So, guys, that's pretty much it. That's MMS on the on my iPhone 3GS and possibly on your iPhone 3G too. Um, follow that Cydia um, hack for the iPhone 2G. Um, I, I don't know if there's a guide for that, but I've heard that people have gotten it working on their or original iPhones if you own one. So try the hack out and then try this hack by YouTuber Alex Osh1234. And um, comment here on if it works or not, but I recommend you comment it on his video. He wants to know the amount of people that are getting it to work and the amount of people that are not getting it to work. You know, the more feedback we have on this, the better chance we have of maybe releasing a better guide or releasing a complete all-in-one guide so that any anyone can get their MMS working before AT&T says so. And Apple. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this Sunday, September 13th. I'm off to go um, study, do some homework, and listen to some music. So have fun with your MMS if you get it working. Peace.